Hey, welcome to Table Tennis Philosophy. Today we're gonna to be talking about what might be missing from your table tennis training. And let me give you what I normally tell new students on how they can improve and how that usually works out. And then we're gonna add something that is usually not talked about and I'm realizing more and more how important it is. Uh, for somebody new coming in, they usually uh, get a initial bump usually in their first month of their playing ability as we weed out the obvious problems uh, that come with their game and in the very first lesson and I think I've said this in other videos I always tell them all right if you want to get better you're gonna to need to do three things one of them get some coaching you're not gonna figure all this out on your own you need somebody to look at your game uh, so getting some coaching will go a long way, but it's not gonna be enough to um, you know, turn you all of a sudden into a top player uh, from a beginner. So what else can they do? All right, you can get some coaching. They're, they're gonna have to play matches, absolutely have to play matches because without playing matches, you're not gonna get the match experience, you're not gonna get to play against different players, you're not gonna be thinking about all the ways you can win matches. There's a lot of players with uh, decent skills who tend to lose close matches over and over and over when they do play, but if you play enough matches, you start figuring out how to finish matches. A lot of things that just you can't get just from coaching. You have to actually play the matches to, to get that. So that's number two. Third one is practicing serves and um, to the extent that people do these three things, they usually have more improvement. I have one of my students who um, does all three and um, says that the practicing serves, he feels like is his secret weapon against the players that he plays that, that have poor serves, that certainly when he plays matches, having confidence in his serves that he's practiced them helps a lot. But that still may not be enough. All right, I have a handful of players that I've coached who have really taken off, uh, some that have gotten better than me, and um, not that that's such an unbelievable thing, but uh, have gone on to be really uh, very advanced level players. And the one thing that each of them has in common is that they've taken it upon themselves to add new skills and refine the skills that they had. Perhaps they have a decent forehand looping game, but it's not strong enough, or maybe it's not strong enough for mid distance. If they notice that, and the way they're gonna notice it is by playing better competition in tournaments. If they notice that, then they start working on it. And that is also a matter of, okay, they have a couple of good serves, but what if they had some serves that were completely different would, and really, really got good at those? Uh, that comes under practicing serves, but it also is adding, not just practicing the same two or three serves that they've typically done, but adding new things and seeing how those work out. Okay. so. There's a certain amount of adding skills, but probably even more important than that is refining the skills that you have. And this is where it it may take many hours of uh, playing against good competition or sometimes just hitting with somebody who's going to challenge you and uh, getting better and better and better at what might just be a very simple game. And I will say this, that the handful of players that have gotten better had some athletic ability to start with. If you have zero athletic ability, uh, you're probably not playing table tennis, but if, you, you have, if you're not terribly athletic, it may be a little tougher. But I'll also say this, I've had some very athletic players that did not go as far as the ones that worked on adding new skills and refining those skills. That may be the missing link. 
um, getting good at table tennis is usually a lot tougher than most people think it's going to be. And when you get to a certain point and you're wondering, boy, I'm doing all these things and I'm still only got to a certain point, then it's like, okay, you got some skills, maybe you need a few more, maybe you need to try some things and that's where you gotta really look at your game or maybe you just need to take the skills that you've got and just get better at doing those. And the players that have done that and really put some thought into it are the ones that have done, uh, gone the furthest, at least in my experience. All right, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.